We're here on the west side of the city in Ballyfermot on the Sarsfield Road. Behind me you'll see an apple green forecourt. I'm about to meet the co-founder and COO of Apple Green, Joe Barrett. Uh, this is the site that started for them all those years ago. And we're going to go on a journey in our Europe car up to another site in uh, Cherry Orchard. And he's going to tell me the story of Apple Green and indeed his own career between now and now. So delighted to welcome Joe Barrett, the COO of Apple Green. Uh, to his own location here in Ballyfermot on the Sarsfield Road. Joe, you're very welcome. Thanks very much, Bobby. Uh, would you believe this is our very first service station? Um, in 1992, Bob purchased the site. Um, I had uh, worked with Bob prior to this in a company called Blue Gas. We've got on very well. I went off, did an MBA, and then came back. Bob had two sites, and he said, do you want to come on board and join me? And uh, I joined him. 26 years ago now, so we're 27 years in, in operation. So it's it's a long way from Ballyfermot. And you and I uh, opened up the first barista uh, coffee machine in your site in Ratcoo, in which Ratcoo. was and probably I about site number three or four, was yeah, it? I think number five. It was probably, yeah. it, to be honest, it was probably the first um, barista coffee offer in a service station in Ireland at that time and it sort of went really really well for us and the whole idea then was just develop and grow our food business we knew that the margins on fuel were were sort of declining and tight and we really adopted the food story very early and it's just been a great great success it's all about bringing food to the four courts and letting people know it's high quality food and low prices always on the, on the on four the, courts on the fuel on the fuel and we then developed our own bakewell brand which is the largest brand within our within our estate and that really evolved our business away from just the small petrol filling station yeah. the big motorway service area site here's another one in cherry orchard one of our early early locations we'll pull in here and have a quick look and uh, you can see what it's about Bobby it's all about parking ease of parking for customers access to getting coffee and food to go inside in the shop and getting your top-up shopping whether it's drinks and sweets and newspapers tell me about how important the car wash is Joe yeah. uh, as part of the overall mix yeah car wash is a huge uh, generator of, of business uh, where people are now more car conscious they're an expensive asset to have and they want to keep them clean and I know there's a lot of talk as well about things like electric cars and I think if anything that people will just more and more conscious of what they drive and and how they drive and how clean it is and how they look driving their car. What's the customer's biggest influencer to stop at a particular forecourt? Well, I think people will drive to get good value on the forecourt and so they need a nice environment to be able to park, need a clean and they need a good price. When they go inside it's all about for me for now they want really good quality food, a really good quality cup of coffee and I think that's hugely important and if you're a regular day-to-day -day customer I think you're also looking for continued value. Joe about retail in its format, about how people shop, how people live, um, do you have any concerns there uh, looking forward around, around online displacing, uh, you know, a hardcore retail as we'd like to call it. As retailers, we evolve our business. It's yeah. like that old saying about Darwin, it's the, it's the most adaptable of the species that will mm. survive. And I think that's really what we will end up doing is, is instead of cramming our stores full of stock, it'll be less stock and more about the experience and bringing customers back. I think people want to go out, Bobby. I think people are spending more time working now. Um, yeah. When they do have time off, they want to have a nice cup of coffee, a bottle of water and, and a pastry and a time to chat. Um, and it's and they want people to dwell in, in certain locations. And I think that's where the future is going to be. Well, listen, we're arriving back uh, to Bally Farm now on the Sarsfield Road, where it all began for you, for you and Bob, Joe, uh, all those years ago. So. Uh, we wish you continued success. Thanks, Bobby. Thanks for coming for a drive with me and letting me into your world. I really appreciate and it. Thanks for introducing us to coffee back in the early days. There you go. Thanks a lot. Cheers, Good man. Bobby. Bye. Thanks a million.